Okay, these next two videos um, are about topics called scatter plots and linear regression. And I have all of these in a great deal more depth with, with uh, videos showing all of the calculator tools that you'll need to do this. So I'm going to just run through this really quickly here, and I would link to, for you those more thorough videos that I have. So the first idea is that of a scatter plot. And what we're looking for in a scatter plot is I want to understand the relationship between two variables. I want to see if there appears to be some kind of association or, or, or technically called a correlation. So what I've done here or what they've done here is there it's cricket chirps and temperature. They want to see is there some apparent association between these things. So they've graphed them. They graphed it as if they think okay chirps and temperature and what they have created, if I can find my pen, what they've created is something with all of these dots. Now where we're going with this is that it appears as if there's some kind of linear pattern here. It looks like a line. Now it's not perfect, but there's something that resembles a line. And so let me see what we're all doing. Yeah, is it the same one? Yeah. So let me go back here. So what you would do and what your calculator would help you do is find a line that could go through these dots in the best possible fashion that would make all the dots as close to the line as they possibly can. It's called a least squares regression line. Now in the next video we're going to see technology is going to do that for us. But what we've got so far is that we, we graphed these two in relationship to each other. I've got chirps and temperatures for all of these different data points. And I've made this thing called a scatter plot. And when I look at this, it looks like there's some kind of relationship here, some kind of association. And so what they're doing next is they're um, kind of speculating. But the truth is, we wouldn't do it like this. We'll see in the linear regression section that we would let the calculator find the best line through here. But what they've done is they drew a line the best they could, and they ran it through a couple of these dots in order that they could come up with a slope for this line they've created and an intercept. So they created this line. Now technology is going to let us do a lot better than just like trying to guess where it would go. Now again all this is covered in the other video but the purpose of this line is if we can establish that we believe there's evidence of this relationship this line is called a mathematical model and it's telling us we think there's evidence that this line tells us about how cricket chirps and temperature are connected, you could then speculate at what you would think would happen at maybe 24 numbers of chirps. What, what do you think the temperature would be? And so it's allowing us to create this mathematical model that we think tells us about the real world. We could then use that information to apply it to situations in which we didn't have any data at all. Now, when you make that scatter plot, you have to be careful. You look to see there's all kinds of things that, that are not a linear relationship. Um, I'll, again, I talk more about this in the other videos, but correlation is when, when you look at it, you think, yeah, there does appear to be some kind of linear relationship between them. And so again, um, well, I don't know how much to cover this here, but if you had a perfect relationship between these two things going straight up, it make a perfect line. That is an R, a correlation of one. That's the highest you could get. You could also have a, a, a group of dots going down like this. If it was a perfect line going down, it has a correlation of negative one. So this idea of correlation just quantifies how good of a line is being made here. So zero means there is no line at all. And so, again, I've got much more on this. Let me just uh, keep it rolling because I don't want to bore you with all this. We can find the value of a correlation by set, turning on a center. We're going to use something called linreg a plus bx on our calculator. But before we do, you've got to turn on a diagnostic function. And, and again, this is all in my other video. It's in the, uh, where is it? Um catalog button on your calculator. But so turn this on. When you run this ca calculation, which you'll see in the other video, you get the value of R that can tell you how good of a linear relationship, how good of a line does there appear to be between the two variables. Now again, that's super fast, but again, I've got this covered in a very, very thorough video that'll tell you a lot more about it. 
So hopefully that'll get you started on scatter plots, and then I'll talk a little bit more about a quick overview of linear regression in the next one.